Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick video to show you how to install DomPod Player without the crap that comes with it because there's a lot of crap that sometimes come with software. DomPod Player is using a trick that I unfortunately don't like. I never really liked a software that tried to trick you into installing other software when you install the main program. So I will do this setup of the DOM pod player here so you guys could see how I do it so that you get only the player not the crapware that they're trying to have you install so once you download the DOM pod player install you click on it you click run you will have this setup so you click next you will agree to the terms of user uh, license agreement here it will show you what you want to associate I leave the associations like they are right now and create of course a shortcut on the desktop quick launch uh, program group and I associate all files supported by pod player that's the default and you leave it like that click next here's a crapware so here they're actually telling you oh you want to have a vast free antivirus no I don't and I am not interested the trick here is that before you would just say I decline but when you do that it brings you back one step the trick to have it go through the install without this crap is to remove the check mark don't agree to the privacy policy and end user license agreement remove the check mark then click accept it is weird but that's the way you're not going to have that install because uh, you don't want to have that then you'll click the install so it's just a quick um, you know trick to make sure that you install the software not the crapware you don't need with it if for some reason you have installed a vast crapware what I recommend from there is to go into your programs and uninstall the vast software that was installed so once you do that you will have DOM pod player installed and working on your PC like I just have here on mine. So uh, I, I wanted to do this because I wanted to make sure that you guys don't install the crap art that comes with the software. It is unfortunate that companies are still using these old tricks to have people install stuff they don't want. But um, you know they could be a little more open and say, oh by the way we haven't offered you on this, yes or no, rather than having that weird way of tricking you into getting it or not if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up hope you enjoyed this video